may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Sorry it took me so long to get on here, but it's been a rough day. Keep Bonnie in your Bonnie in your prayers. She truly needs all the prayers she can get right now. She's got up against the wall. And the devil's really coming at her full force. So definitely keep her in your prayers. She needs it desperately. She has not had a good month, and it's like the devil has just come at her full force. So keep her in your prayers. Keep us in your prayers here. The fires have gotten worse. We thought that we was in the clear, but they have definitely started back up and they're moving at an alarming pace. We're supposed to get a lot of rain in the next couple of days, so hopefully that will be enough to put it out. But the smoke was so bad here today, you couldn't even be out in it. It was that bad. So definitely keep us all in your prayers here. Keep my health in your prayers. My legs have just been so bad. I just need all the prayers I can get. Right now, it just seems like we're all being attacked. Yeah, I shaved the beard off, but it'll be back. Maybe not before the rapture, but it was itching me to death. And they're making us go back to masks, so I had to shave it off. But with everything going on, a Reaper drone being destroyed today over Yemen. America striking targets in Syria. The big talk about Netanyahu wanting to take back the whole Gaza Strip and putting it back under Israel's control, which has got the Biden administration in a scramble. They're not very happy about this. Which we knew there was going to be something that would trigger this. Because eventually Israel will be on her own. That's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. It's not called America and, and Israel's Trouble. America will disappear very soon. I know that's alarming to many people, but she will disappear and she will be gone. We've told many people for a whole year, out of nowhere, America will just be gone. I know that's hard for people to believe, but it will happen. And it will happen in the blink of an eye. And I do believe the rapture event is what sets it on that pace. Because once the rapture happens, most of the world's populations will be gone. Because as soon as the rapture happens, World War III follows it very closely. So, that's why I've told everybody to try to preach as much gospel as you can. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4, to as many people can hear it. Jesus died on the cross, shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, and rose again on the third day. And trust in your heart that he died for your sins, because you're definitely down to the last moments. And what tells us that is our, our studies into Amos 8 and Amos 9. You can even put in Amos 7 in there. And it will lead you into the Psalms 83 war. And all indication is that this war that's taking place right now on the Gaza Strip will turn into something very bigger. And we all see that already taking place. All the players are starting to come into the play. You know, the Russia's the Turkeys, uh, Syria. All of them are sitting on Israel's border, Lebanon. Now Algeria. And it just goes on and on. All these people are going to come. I mean, this is it, people. That's why I tell you, this is a great moment, but it's definitely, we're all going through it before we get out of here. But the next event, if you're reading Amos into Amos 9, the rapture happens. The gospel's pulled. The restrainer's removed. Many people have seen it. 
and many people know it. Now, God confirmed that calendar that was being worked on by Aaron at God a Minute. He used both our channels to confirm his studies about Methuselah and what he came up with the year. So he used both our channels to confirm that year, which is this year of the Torah calendar. Now, Brother Aaron has told me that this Torah calendar, that the one we got, it does run till next fall. But I do not believe we'll be here that long. I do not. Not with what's happening with Israel and what I'm our studies in Amos are telling us a whole different story. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you get into Amos, it talks about what happened of the bodies they found. That's in Amos. I think it's in Amos 8. By Amos 9, the church is gone. I'm going to put a famine upon the earth, not of food and not of drink. But it'll be the gospel that they will not be able to find. That's the rapture. That's when we're gone. And they'll look to and fro, trying to find it, but they cannot find it. It's gone. Right now, Israel's winning this war. She will not continue to win it. The only reason she's winning it right now is America is there, and those Navy carriers are keeping the enemy at bay. The rapture will stop that. Them forces will be pulled out and Israel will be on her own. She has to be on her own because God wants to be the one who save her and he will be the only one to save her. Not her armies, not her missiles, not no other country. It will be God. That's why I'm telling you the rapture is imminent. Because we're right there when this event starts to take place. Right now she's winning. She will not continue to win. God will put her in a place where she'll have to call she will have to call out to him. And well really if you think about it this way, she doesn't call out to him. But he's going to prove himself not to just Israel but also to the world that he is the protector of Israel. That's what's going to happen. Let me word it correctly. I'm tired. And I'm tired of smelling smoke all through the day. It's been brutal. But that's what this war is about. That's why all this happened on October the 7th. That's why God showed me October the... The funny thing is I asked God the day, the night that I got the 10-7 and the 10-14... I asked God, I said, if we can know the rapture date or what starts the rapture to happen, can you give it to me? And that night is when I got the 10-7 and the 10-14. Can't make this stuff up, people. I never understood what it meant to the week that it happened, and then I understood it. A little slow, but at least it took me to the end to get it. But so these are the two days that he showed me that sets off the rapture. There's your answer to that. Then he gives me the eight, the eight seventy four. If I'm saying it right, I'm tired. And then Aaron had it, and that's confirming this year on the Torah calendar. So, with everything that's happening right now that you're looking at, is leading to the rapture. I can 100% tell you that because I know he's confirmed it over and over and over. Not just through my channel, through many channels that we are leaving. Now, I can't tell you when. I wish I could. If I could tell you tomorrow, I'd tell you it's tomorrow. I don't know. I do know this. Scripture tells me with everything that's happening right now, it's any time. So I'm going to go with Scripture and tell you to just keep looking up. And pray that we get out of here soon. Because we know it's here. And we all feel that it's very close. The earthquakes and everything are all signs. Hey, everything that you're seeing right now is a wake-up call to the world. But they're just not getting it like you do. You are God's sheep. So you're listening and you're looking for it. They're not. Just like God said in the latter days. All they'll do is... Me and Kim talked about the everybody's kind of getting bad at me because I 
I said smockers because I added a I, I put them together so we're, we've got a new word now it's called smockers so those who get aggravated with me putting two words together there you go that's a new word I'm going to put it on a shirt if we're here long enough smockers people have no sense of humor today and that's one another reason I'll be glad to get out of here you know people just don't love and laugh and enjoy things anymore Everything offends them, just like Jesus said it would be in the last days. They'd be the offended, offended, offended. And boy, that is these people. Everything offends them. They've got to correct you on everything. They've got to be grammar police. They've got to be this. They've got to be that. Just nobody loves anybody anymore. They just It's all about they're right, you're wrong. It's just a sad, sad world. Very evil, and I'll be glad when we don't have to deal with that anymore. And I'm glad to say, we're within hours of it happening. Don't know when, but it's here. Jesus is coming, and we do not have to deal with this anymore. Don't have to hear with the people. Oh, there's no rapture. rapture. They'll, they'll, they will be stopped saying that very soon. They won't have to hear that anymore. Well, show me in the Bible where it's at. Won't have to deal with that much more either. Thank you, God, if I have to hear that one more time. We've showed them over and over, and they still... Refuse to hear it. But that's where we are. And with everything that's happened today, just in today, the birth pains continue to increase. Israel has leveled Gaza all through the night, all through the day and all through the night. Attacks against American assets in three different countries. As of right now, there are seven countries vying for I don't know what they're vying for in Syria. But they're all there. Seven countries in that one country. And it's only a matter of time before it all goes to crap. Because they're all taking punch shots at each other right now. You got Turkey, Russia, the Syrian army itself, Hezbollah, Iran, and the United States. And God only knows who else is there in that one country. All centered around Damascus. Not coincidence. That's the next prophecy to be fulfilled. Damascus will be leveled in one hour. Are we here to see that? I don't think so. But it's, it's, it's in Amos too. It's lined up along with that temple mound. All of it's there in Amos. Continue, I advise everybody to read all of Amos. Because that's what's playing out today. All of it. Read the whole thing. Whole chapter. Because you're gonna it's gonna blow your mind. The studies that we've been doing with Amos is and the Psalm eighty three war is eye opening on many occasions. But we're definitely very close. So don't hang your head. Like I've always told you, be a light in the darkness. Because right now the world is very dark and the world needs the light. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for the, all your support. Thank you for keeping us all in your prayers. Uh, we love each and every one of you. All of you. We thank you a lot of you all for your kind remarks and everything that you do. Thank you for all those who bought me coffees and everything else. God bless each and every one of you. If I don't see you hear from me again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.